You know, it's often said that a trout reel is just a line holding device. And for the most part it is. If you're catching small trout, you're just stripping in the line and you're using your reel at the end of the day or when you move from spot to spot. So, um, you know, for small stream trout fishing and smaller trout, yeah, it's a line holding device. It's a beautiful line holding device, but it's a line holding device. When you get to a situation where you're fishing for large trout and relatively light tippets, then it's not a line holding device. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh my God. I've never seen a brook trout jump like that. We're going. We're going for a ride. You need a reel with a really, really smooth drag. The drag is the braking system in a reel that tires the fish and slows down the line as it goes out. And if you don't have a really smooth drag, if it stutters or jerks and it isn't smooth like that, uh, when a fish is running, that stuttering can, can break the tippet. So most of the time it's a line holding device. If you got a chance of hooking a big trout on a relatively light tippet, then you want a reel with a super smooth drag. Dude. Woo. Oh, look at this big fish. Oh, oh, big fish. Wow.